Hey guys, Dave here from the Manic Miners and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. And today we're going to be talking about freighters and how they can make you millions of units in the game. So, without further ado, sit back, grab a cold snack and we'll get straight back into it. Okay, so if you've warped a couple of times, you may have come into a battle with pirates and they're fighting against a freighter. This is a mission that's called in after a couple of times of uh, warping. And this is the, one of the ways to get yourself a freighter. Now, what's going to happen is there is there is two different uh, types of freighter. There are regular freighters, and there are capital freighters. Now, the regular freighters, if you were to buy one, they're like fi between fifteen and nineteen slots, C to S class, and they cost you anything between fifty, you know, about five million and twenty three million units. And then you have your capital freighters, which are the large ones, and they're 23 to 34 slots, and they're a bit more expensive. So the way you can get one for free is when you come into warp into a system, you may see that there's a battle going on, and there'll be pirates fighting a freighter. Now, the first time round, there will be up to about eight pirates. Um, you can kill them quite easy because they only, although there's eight, they will only attack you two at a time. Work your way through the pirates, uh, shoot them down. Shouldn't take shouldn't take too long, and they're pretty easy to kill, even with like uh, unupgraded weapons. Now the captain of the ship will contact you, and ask you to come on board. Go on board and head down to his control room, and he will probably offer you the ship for free. Now, I recommend you turn him down. Turn down the first one. And there's a reason for that. So, if you turn him down, carry on with the game, and again, after two or three times of warping, maybe a little bit more, you'll come across another battle where more pirates, there's up to ten of them, will be firing at a freighter. Kill all the pirates, and again, come on board, head down to the captain's quarters over here, you go speak to the captain. Now the reason for this is the second time round that you actually have the fight, it will be a capital freight and not regular one. So you will get more inventory slots and you'll get a better deal. And he will offer you the ship for free. So take the ship on and this is what you're going to get. Okay, so mine is a, a B-class freighter. It's got plenty of slots in there with uh, a few technology slots. Excellent way for you to store stuff but it, the, the other thing is which I'll get into a, li into a little bit, is that it will store stuff from your missions that you'll need to do. Okay, once you've bought your freighter, it seems a bit daunting what you can do with it. So let me run you through what you've got here. This little guy, as it says on the HUD up there, this is your navigator and you'll plan expeditions to send frigates out, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, and they will go off and do missions for you without you being in the game. And uh, we'll earn some cash. You got a research terminal here, and this is why you, where you buy blueprints for devices which you can upgrade your frigates with when they go out on the missions. And uh, they 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 require a frigate upgrade, uh, which you can earn on this terminal here. You can actually take your frigate around the map just like your starship. The difference between the freighter and your starship is the freighter only takes one hyperdrive unit to go whereas your starship will take more fuel if that makes sense I hope it does we've got a fleet management terminal here and this will display all the frigates that you have which again I'll go into in a minute about frigates but it gives you a list of what what ships are working for you to set that you can send out on missions and this is the captain up here you can see he doesn't do much, he's always yawning. Right. So you've got your... Uh, you've got your freighter. What to do with it? Now, if you walk around, there's all these corridors around here. This place is huge. It doesn't look big at the moment because I haven't really expanded mine. But this, just like on the planet, you can build freighter parts. On the freighter parts, you've got like a large room, so you can get rid of all these corridors, add a large room, you can add, add uh, smaller rooms, corridors, curved corridors, see that? 
and they just go in modular like that and uh, they take they do take resources this one takes silver and tritium but it's everything that you can farm from in space so you've got uh, stairs the most important one for us now would be a, a command room what the command you can put a command room down more or less anywhere I've got mine in my corridors up here so we'll just pop over here quickly Do, 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 do. You can build all around here. So my command rooms are here. And every time you send your frigates out, you'll need, uh, per mission, you'll need one command room. Now you can send fi five missions out at once, and you can have 30 frigates working for you. Now what do I mean by frigates? Well, let's pop out into space and I'll go and show you. Right, out in space, and you'll notice, here's my huge freighter. They really are massive, these, uh, they really are massive, these capital ships. They're, they're huge. They look like the, the, uh, the big star destroyers from Star Wars. And flying around them at the back, if we just turn around, you'll see I've got a load of frigates. And the way you get these to work for you is, if you look around in your, in your system where you are, you'll see other freighters with other frigates and if you approach them let's approach them and see what they have, see if they have to say anything to us okay so we've, we're approaching this frigate here let's talk to him right so he's a trade specialist he's an S-class trade specialist so obviously the higher classes the more expensive they're going to be, but the better chance of getting decent uh, a decent haul off this off this frigate. So I mean, he's got pretty good combat, but his trade rating is 31. So that's pretty good. Uh, he's been out 28 times, but he's been damaged 28 times as well when he's been out. Right. Well, head back to the to my freighter, and we'll go through how to send a mission out. Okay, back on board. We're going to speak to this navigator guy and see what missions he's got for us. And you can see that there's, um, there's a balanced expedition, combat patrol, trade expedition, another combat one. And the higher star rating is that the, the more dangerous that the, the expedition is. So, for instance, you assign a ship and you think it's going to be, this is going to be a We'll just see what it's going to be. It's going to be. Do, do, do. This is a trade expedition. So we could look down our list of. We've got an A class trader up there. We've got another A class trader there. Um, and we would send out with them. Let me have a look. See if we've got any combat vessels ready. I would send out a combat vessel and, vessel and probably a support vessel with them as well. Now, when you send them out, you will need uh, warp fuel for you will need fuel for all your frigates. Which is, if we go into an empty spot, it is. There we go. Frigate fuel, which is made up of dihydrogen and tritium. So you're going to need to farm up a lot of that because each mission does take a lot. I'd get about a thousand tritium and about 500 dihydrogen. Send them out on a mission. You can play with it really. Um, you know, send out different vessels. Or, I mean, if you're going out on a trade mission, it's a long way away. Always send out a combat mission, a combat frigate and a support frigate, because that way if they do get attacked by, by pirates, the combat vessel will help um, kill the pirates and also the support vessel will help repair the ships that get damaged because ships do get damaged and if they don't can't be re repaired 
they will be sent back to the fleet. So that's the way they're making money. You get as many. You've got five missions a day. I would try to assemble a, a fleet of frigates that you can send all five missions out and just leave them because most of these missions take anything between about eight and twenty-four hours in real time. You don't have to be in the game. You can come out and just log back in and go and check them out. Now I'll go into a little bit more detail in, about the storage in here because basically this can be a mobile base for you. You can put all your equipment in here, like your refiners, your farms, and everything else you need. The only thing you cannot put in here is a teleport. But you can put a trade terminal so that you can sell all your goods. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome thing to do. If you don't, if you don't want to set up a, pla uh, a base on a planet, this is the place to set it up. Because not only can you uh, store all your equipment up here, you can put safes for all your, uh, your inventory. Um, you can store your ships here as well because as soon as you get a freighter you can start purchasing ships and they will be stored in the uh, shall I say garage downstairs the uh, flight deck downstairs you can have up to a maximum of six ships which is amazing really because uh, ships are awesome you can see I've maxed out now I've got five exotic ships and my trusty old fighter which I'll never get rid of so that's a way of making money out of it the, there is a, a snag when they come when the uh, freighters when the frigates come back, and that is that they do get damaged. And I've got some damaged ones at the moment. And we'll quickly go and explore to see what's wrong with them, and I'll show you how to repair them. Right, this is a little bit tricky because it doesn't really indicate. Wait for my lag spike to finish. Cut this piece out. Okay, so it doesn't really indicate until you're close to the frigate that it is damaged. So that one's fine. I'm going to have to fly to every single one of the frigates to see if it's damaged. I should have made note, really, when I was at the terminal. There we go, there's a damaged one. So we'll fly quite close to it. Let's go up above it and see where we can land. Where's the landing pod? Oh, there we go, there's the landing plane. Okay, we're in. Our ship is damaged, traveller friend, but this will not last long. Are you coming to help? So we inspect the damage report. It says there's damage, so we're going to mark the components. And it will tell us that we've got two damaged stations. I think it's up to five. So we'll get out and we'll have a look. As you can see at the top of my screen, a little red hammer symbol and that's what we got to go and find right so there's one up there and there'll be a terminal up here which we've got to repair head around here and there we go it's going to require what's it going to require to repair this gold not a problem so that one's repaired now where's the other one it's down here We're not to fly into space. Now, where is it? I think it's downstairs. How do we get downstairs? And here we go. So that's going to take, what is that? Oh, that's repaired. So now this frigate is up and running. So you've got to go around all your frigates, inspect them, see if they've got a red hammer symbol next to them. And then your fleet will be ready to send out again. Go and mine some tritium and some dihydrogen. Remember that you don't have to go to the planet to get dihydrogen. If you mine enough tritium out of the, uh, the asteroid field in space, you can process it in your refiner and that will refine it down to dihydrogen. So that's the way to do that. Lost my ship. So go around all your ships, all your frigates, uh, fix them all up, send them out on missions, and you'll be earning money. And some really good... If I look in my... Can I see my freighter? 
So you'll get relics, you'll get some mango gold. Some of this stuff's worth a lot of money. I mean, just here alone, I've got three quarters of a million, 100k, another 50,000, 50. I think this is just one little mission out of uh, five frigates. So look, I mean, look at these. It's four and a half million. So it's a really good way of making money. It's a good way to have a mobile base if you don't want to go down onto a planet. Uh, you can store all your gear up here. Plus, in fact, you can store all of your ships up here. And there's three landing pads free on your freighter where ships in that system will land. And just on a an added note, I have seen exotic ship landing uh, freighters before. So, well worth doing. Take on the missions. It's a lot of fun to play with the freighter. Remember, also, if you're in your starship and you jump systems, at any time you can call your freighter into that system. So, And that costs you nothing. So you can always pull your freighter and all your fleet with you, and they will always follow that freighter around. Well, I hope this has been some help for you. Uh, it definitely was for me. I'm so glad I did it, because I did put it off for quite some time getting a freighter, because I didn't really understand what was going on. I uh, didn't really look into it. So if this has been a little bit of help for you, don't forget to click the like button, because that helps. And if you didn't like it, click the dislike button, because that, that helps as well. And if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to click subscribe and ring the notification bell. Uh, we've got a couple of No Man's Sky videos up there now. If you want to check those out, easy ways to make money in No Man's Sky, then uh, check them out. And for now, I'll catch you later. Bye!